All right, I wanted to quickly show you how to edit Wix forms, um, a few little tips on, on how to set up your Wix forms to send to an email address and so forth. If you click on the Wix form, um, and any style is the same, just click kind of in an area around the form where you get this Wix forms blue highlight, and then you should see form settings. Click here on form settings. That's going to open up a window that has all your settings related to your form. Um, a submissions table, I always say it's good to create those. Um, it puts a little submissions table in the back end of your Wix dashboard so that you can download and access kind of everybody that has submitted through it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and turn that on here. Um, the next thing that you want to look at is your settings. Um, here is where you can set up your email notifications on who you want the um, the email to go to. That was just notifying me that that submissions table has been uh, created. Um, so you can put any email address here and that's going to notify you of the email. One thing to note in Wix forms, the new Wix forms now, when you get an email from um, this notification, so once you put your email in here you can go ahead and uh, publish it and then test it on the live site and send yourself a test through the form. And what you'll find is that you'll get an email that comes from Wix um, and it goes through the Wix Ascend system and that is your email notification. I always tell clients never reply directly to that email because that goes then through Wix's Ascend system um, and goes back to the client coming from Wix versus your own email address. So when people contact you using your Wix forms, I would suggest that when you get that notification to copy and paste it into a new email, um, copy and paste the email of the customer into a new email, um, into that same email and send it that way. That way it co comes directly from your email address and doesn't go through that Wix Ascend system. Um, Wix Ascend is good if you want a management system to kind of manage all your contacts, but I find that for most clients, it's much more uh, it's pr more professional and easier to just send an email directly to the client versus doing it through the Ascend by using the either respond now or replying to the email notification. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can put two different emails in here. Um, so feel free to put those in and then test it. Um, you can also adjust where the submission goes. So. Um, you can send uh, or have them show a success message, um, but what I recommend for SEO purposes is once they've submitted this, um, take them to a thank you page on your site. Um, you can create a thank you page and then link to it. Um, that way you can put some information on the thank you page like, oh, we'll be in touch with you soon and maybe give them some links to other pages on the site to just keep them on the site and to learn more about your other uh, services or, or offers or programs. Um, so keep that in mind. Use this go to site page and then of course you'll need to create a thank you page first. Um, I don't have one created yet. Oh it looks like we do have one created. So we'll point it to that thank you page there. Um, and that's a good thing for SEO to just keep people moving around the site rather than just showing them a success message. Um, payment, that's an ability to add payments to your form. Um, you have to probably upgrade to do that. Um, automations, you can send a thank you email um, so you can create your different emails that would go automatically to the customer um, once they've submitted the form. Um, feel free to use these, although these also uh, kind of go through the Ascend system, so I always suggest you know responding to clients directly using a personal email and your, or I should say your company email. Um, so it looks more professional. It's coming from your business versus Wix. Um, so those are all of my main tips on, on, um, on getting this set up. Let me know if you have any questions.